remember working on this. I had to spend, uh, I had to spend like 80 to 100 hours a week, maybe even more. I think there was one week I spent 110 hours in, at Zim working out this whole sequence, working out this whole show, basically. It, was, it took a lot of attention, this show, this episode, and uh, getting Zim started as well was just a heavy duty. And I was doing everything at the same time. You know, I was figuring out how everything works, putting things together, uh, figuring out the style, visual style of the show, um, and trying to get everybody to work together to create something that was pretty smooth and, and clean. Uh, I think it worked out pretty well, but it really wore me out. The original storyboard artist of this whole section, who did most of this act, bailed on us basically. The guy kept sleeping at his table, and it was a it was a hassle to uh, to work with him. Uh, gave him as much uh, time as he could to sort of get into it, and it never worked out. We had to get rid of him. None of his work exists, so I had to redo the entire sequence or this entire part of the show, and that's what took a lot of time. So this is sort of my obtuse acting on Gur. It's funny watching different board artists and different, uh, just different artists on the show act the characters differently. This is still a very unfinished sort of a, a product. I think the acting got a lot better as time went on. Started to focus in on that after the first few episodes. You can see the characters don't look quite the same they do in, as in second season. This song. Everybody sings this song. <laughs> Whenever you talk to somebody about Zim, they seem to talk about this song. And there's the first act. Now, this six months later, uh, I think we got into trouble for that. Somebody didn't like that. Uh, time going across time like that six months always made New York angry. I don't think they liked it. <laughs> there was such an enormous span of time, it seemed unrealistic to them. Gert was very charming in this episode. Zim actually wasn't as uh, threatening as he as he was in later episodes. Uh, Zim was very cute in this episode. He, he had a lot of nice charm to him. He he was uh, he could be a bit angry like this and snippy, but generally had a very cute way about him. He, the character even was drawn a lot cuter. You can see that point on his head when you're in the when you're looking straight on. That point vanished later on. The character designs slowly morphed this radio station WTFU uh, um, was originally uh, it was a, a it was a joke between uh, Joe Daniello the board cleanup artist and myself I think I had thumbnailed out that section uh, there was a radio station in New Jersey WDHA that we both uh, grew up around uh, the Rock of New Jersey and yeah, we threw that in there but because of payola plugola we couldn't throw in the actual name of the station somebody changed it to WFTFU or whatever. <laughs> that little Gur acting, I threw that in later on in the show and uh, still gets a lot of notice from people. Gur was very enigmatic back in these days. He was always enigmatic. He, he was a great character. Uh, cute and funny. <laughs> now, originally there were supposed to be other people in there. That ended up being Jonan and me. Uh, the board artist threw that in as a joke. And they started doing cameos of us throughout the series. Uh, in the first six episodes, you'll see cameos of Jonan and myself. And I believe there's going to be one in the Christmas episode as well. Um, Jonan didn't like them. After a while, he thought that they were, uh, um, I don't know. He actually didn't say. He just didn't like them. And he didn't want them in anymore. So all of our cameos were changed up. But it was basically the board artists. I, I didn't necessarily want them. But the board artists had a lot of fun throwing us in. They thought it was so funny. Overseas uh, called Jonan and I the... Uh, I think it was like the the Laurel and Hardy or something of animation. There was some weird name they gave to us because he's very small and slight, uh, extremely thin, uh, emaciated, and I was just a, you know a huge, heavy guy. Uh, and it was just very funny to them. You know, I have a lot of hair. He didn't have very much. Uh, it's just opposites, complete opposites. I was a big drinker. He never took a drug in his life. You know. Now, a lot of the style on the characters came from the original pilot and from the original designs. So we were sort of following the pilot at this point. We weren't branching off into a new style, which came later. Jonan started to revise things uh, further into the series. 
the house building sequence that comes up here, I thumbnailed all this, and I didn't clean it up. Uh, Joe Daniela cleaned it up. But I thumbnailed all this while we were in Korea, and we're doing a million other things, and I'm sitting there thumbnailing this out because it was the last sequence that we needed to really hit home. Um, 3D guys loved it. And it's just a real fun visual. A lot of camera movement. It looks like 3D because of the camera movement, but then it goes back into 2D, back to Sean Murray's stuff. Got a lot of comments on it. A lot of people really liked that. I remember the excitement when it premiered. Uh, it was there was a lot of anticipation for this series in the in the animation community out here. And once it aired, it divided people up. A lot of people hated it. They thought it was garbage, and a lot of people loved it. And you either had zealots or you had uh, um, haters. Those were the two parties basically around Zim. I rarely ever heard somebody say that they were indifferent to this series. Mm, there's a pretty flat shot. The second half of this episode wasn't as well animated. It's a pity, uh, but it took people a while overseas to get into the style of the show. This is probably the most difficult style I've ever seen to work on as an artist. And I've done a lot of uh, illustration animation, you know, uh, basically animation characters created off of illustrations that weren't meant to be animated. And yet this show is just the hardest. Um, there's so much intricacy to things. Um, in the early days, it was a little bit more iconic. It wasn't as uh, filled with detail. So you had to be right on with whatever you drew. But the heads were just the worst, and they were the worst all the way to the end. I think it looks a bit more like Jonan's art, actually. The art from his comics in these earlier in these earlier episodes. Um, it just his comics, at least when he started his color comics, like I feel sick. I think it looks it looked a lot more like this. They were simpler shapes and uh, more interesting designs. Uh, later on, it became just filled with detail. Mrs. Bitters, who I believe was taken from one of Z uh, one of Jonan's uh, comic book characters in Squee, the teacher. I think this section was also uh, storyboarded by Jonan. You could see it more in, like, the bend of Dib's arm. He was big into bending limbs. We weren't so into the noodle limbs at this point. Yeah, far more graphic. Graphic shapes and silhouettes. Don Judge was our timing director at this point. I had hired him as, as our original timing director, and he bailed out to go to, uh, I think, to Cartoon Network or something after... Uh, uh, Dark Harvest, I think, was his last episode. And very good timer. I worked with him for years, and he brought on his crew. And he, he knew the timing. He did the timing very well. It stank when he left. Uh, he had, we had to then work up all the other timers into this style. Uh, a new timing director came on. And it changed the dynamic of what we were trying to do. In the beginning of this show, too, or in the beginning of the first episodes of the show onward, we realized that these shows were too long, and we had to speed them up. We So we... We had to go through the problem of speeding up video, which nobody had done, or supposedly nobody had done. I forget if Futurama had done that, but uh, we were sort of breaking ground. We had to speed these up by 5, 10, 15, 20, even as much as 20%, 25%, 30%, I think, uh, to get these to time. Otherwise, we would have had to cut more story, and uh, the show wouldn't have been as fast-paced. Uh, it probably would have been a little bit more sluggish. Oh, that's done. That old kid is actually a caricature of Don, our uh, parking lot attendant here at Nickelodeon. Um, I don't know if uh, I don't know if anybody knows that or cares, but Don's a very nice man. He, he takes our uh, you know he lets us in every day to to the parking lot, takes our IDs and.